tuning in. My name is Ayoka Yamina. I am the creator of this awesome community, the Lightworker Society. I'm coming to bring you guys a reading for Gemini. It's going to be a nice love reading. All right, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I had recorded this freaking video three times, okay? I have gone 15 minutes into it and had to stop because of the fact of my spirit guys is playing all day. They're not playing. They're dead serious, right? But the message that was coming across, I just couldn't. I couldn't. Let me tell you, I couldn't. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I had kept laughing and I just couldn't get it through. So I'm trying to start over fresh for you guys. And this is going to be it. I'm going to get this video out to you. I promise. I promise. Now, I need y'all to be so sensitive right now because the first message was man, It was dead on. That's all I'm going to say. It would definitely have been a trigger. And I know I'm supposed to deliver the message as it comes, but it it was it was a little bit too much for me to take. But I'm gonna try it again. So be centered in your heart space, right? Keep your minds positive because spirit has a message, a message that will resonate with someone. Okay, so this is a collective Gemini reading. I pick up on the past, present, and future energies. So this could have happened to you in the past, it could have happened to you now, or it could be coming. That's why I ask that you stay in alignment with what the purpose of these readings are for. Okay, because at some point in your journey, you will encounter it. Now, I'm gonna set my intentions and so we can do this, you know, vibe on the same frequency real quick. Now, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angels, my ancestors, my guides for helping me. Thank you. I'm telling you, thank you for using me to be the messenger. I thank you for giving me a message to deliver for Gemini, one that will resonate. Help me to deliver this message. I'm asking for help <laughs> and to keep me serious and in a way that I'll be able to understand the message so that I can deliver it in a way that Gemini will understand and receive. I ask that the spiritual gates are closed to anything that is not in alignment with the divine's will in this message. Please protect us as we go through the spiritual realm to commune with you. And so it is. So I had started with my romance deck the last time. I think I'm going to pull from my energy deck and I'll pull from the romance deck as well and then give my clarifying cards, of course. You guys know how um, I do it if you are a frequent viewer of mine. Now, forgive me. I'm recording my podcast at the same time. So, I might, uh, I'm jumping back and forth. I'm, I'm multitasking. I'm multitasking. Thank you, my spiritual guides. What is the energy in Gemini's love life? Okay, so I got two cards that jumped out. <clears throat> now I'm being told to pull from the romance set. Thank you. Okay. I got more cards jumped out that can fit on my easels. <laughs> the soulmate card came out again, y'all. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up, I swear. <laughs> the same cards almost, but in a different... Oh my gosh. You know what? I got this. But thank you, Spirit, because you've given it to me in a way that I'll be able to deliver it without feeling like, oh. Oh, oh, oh. All right, now, what am I doing, you guys? I got I got a little distracted. I'm back balanced. Okay, I need to move my eye pad. Because it's in the way. And I knocked over my cards. All right. Is that good? Yeah, I feel like I'm ready to go for you guys. Now, so the sun card is in reverse, you guys. What, what is going on? What are you feeling? You see the sun? The sun usually marks like... The sun card is a good card. It's the first card in the deck. Um, and it usually marks a time of uh, new beginnings. Um, 
entering into a new period, a new phase. You see how she's bathing herself in the sun and she's taking in the energy. So she's nurturing herself, literally, right? <clears throat> and the card really represents bringing in something that is new, but it's in reverse. So we're stifling you guys. Um, are you afraid? Are you doubting yourself? That's what's going on. That's what I'm getting. Are you questioning that things may go wrong? Or have you lost your spark? Or something is keeping you from making a move or moving forward with a situation. Now, this could be you, Gemini, like I said. Or it could be your person. Take it how it resonates. Whoever you came here for to know about. In regards to your love life. But however, um... There's something definitely going on and it's blocking you. It's blocking your creativity. Spirit wants to know, are you thinking outside um, influences are the problem? Whoa. <laughs> Y'all, Gemini, I kid you not. I can't make this stuff up. This is the same exact thing that came out in the last reading. But the only difference was I had the past life um, relationship card the queen of cups reverse and the queen of cups reverse talks about a karmic situation or a karmic person in the same situation just now i'm sorry the same thing just popped up it just came and i'm reading um a definition within my book and it's saying uh whew, is there an outside influence that's blocking you are standing in your way or are you the one standing in your own way what's stopping you from achieving your goals gemini because it definitely seems like it's fear because you're not being in the sun position upright it's fear and it's some doubt um that's keeping you stuck now spirit wants to tell you you're gonna have victory because this is your soulmate you're going to have victory in this situation because this is your soulmate. So if you're feeling blocked or if you're feeling that you're not going to be able to create a situation that's going to be conducive or bring you victory or that you feel like there's no victory that's going to come out of this soulmate relationship, Gemini, take it how it resonates. If it's you or your person, if you feel like there's no victory that's going to come out of this, it will be. Give your relationship a chance, honey. Things may be fudged up right now. You know, with these soulmate connections, depending on what type of soulmate connection this is, it, it, it definitely has some ups and downs. And especially if there's some outside influences involved, it will cause some issues. I don't know why. I mean, this is a general reading, so I'm not going to sit up there and start making stuff up in my head so i'll pull some more cards in the cards to tell me what's really going on but you're being guided to work on your partnership to work on this situation don't let it slip through your fingers because you will have victory and that's what you are afraid of you are afraid that you will not have a good outcome and it has a lot to do with some type of codependencies because that's what came up in my previous reading why should Gemini give this relationship a chance so I got the knight of pentacles that came out because this is something that's going to require you to do some work like I said you're going to have to do some work to get towards your goals, of course. That's how it always, you know, everything requires something that you have to put effort into. Can you elaborate? <clears throat> Let me tell you. Knight of Swords has come up. <clears throat> Sorry, got distracted. I got a little text. 
but <laughs> from a Gemini. <laughs> All right, so the Knight of Swords has came out, right? And on the Knight of Swords, it is, you know, the Knight of Swords takes action, right? But they have difficulties when it comes to committing. That's the problem. That's the problem. We got some commitment issues going on, Gemini. So either it's you that's having a problem committing or it's your person that is having the problems committing. Okay, because the Knight of Swords, um, yeah. The Knight of Sw the Swords, Knight of Swords, <laughs> fears, fears, has a lot of fears about intimacy. They easily get bored. Yep. <laughs> This person requires definitely a lot of intellectual stimulation. And you know, Gemini, that sounds a lot like you because you require, you like the communication, you like to be able to be stimulated on a mental level. And if that person can't provide that, that, you know, you lose interest, you get bored. Now, you're gonna have to muster up some courage, honey, and quickly make a decision and take some action. <laughs> So, Spirit is saying, yeah, you're going to have to make a commitment or something. Take action because this is your soulmate and you're going to have victory. You don't have to. Let me put it that way. You don't have to because we have free will. And again, like I said, Gemini, you can switch the roles if you need to because this could be your person's energy also that I'm picking up. They might have the issue with committing. They might have the issue um, with staying um, in a relationship because they get bored easily, quote unquote. You know, that could be them. But take it how it resonates. I'm just speaking it how I'm seeing it. Whew. This is heavy. Gemini, you're being advised to just extend your lightheartedness. Extend lighthearted energy to each other. Regardless of what's taking place in the situation. Even if you're feeling like you can't move forward or you can't create um, this situation to come out to this victorious outcome. Just in the meanwhile, just continue to stay lighthearted. And allow nature to take, not, I don't know why I said nature to take its course, but allow yourself to flow, okay, in harmony with the universe because everything will come into alignment as it should be, okay? But um, you can't be in this energy of feeling stuck because you're going to have to be, you know, I, the Knight of Swords, uh, I don't know. They, they take action. They come forward pretty quickly, but yeah. The commitment issue thing, yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us about this victory for Gemini? Maybe they need to see it. They don't believe it. So I have the Seven of Pentacles that have come out. Because if you, you know, all of your hard work, all of your commitment that you've showed towards your desired dreams and stuff, you'll get a reward, right? So the reward is going to be on an emotional and spiritual basis. You're going to gain your success just because you decided that you're going to be committed and show commitment. And you're going to work towards your goals and your dreams, especially when it comes to love. And that's with, um, you know, the nine of pentacles upright is basically a hardworking um, person, energy that works towards their goals. They, they do what they have to do to get the results. And this is why you'll get the victory in this situation, because you decided to be steadfast. And you decided to put in the work and the universe will reward you for that. Definitely. The universe is going to reward you for actually um, deciding to put your energy into the connection. And even if this is your other person, if they decide to do the right thing 
and put their energy into the connection. They will be rewarded. <clears throat> right, the judgment card. We got it again. This connection is going to help you rise up to a higher level of consciousness, right? So it's time for you to make this life-changing decision using your intuition and your intellect. you got to trust your judgment, okay? You have to trust it because your intuition knows best. The judgment card talks about the fairest decision being made. So just by you trusting your intuition, you're going to make the fairest decision. Now... What's this decision? Whoa, I got a lot of cards here, you guys. <laughs> Let me see something. Do I need to put these back? Because, uh, man, we about to go into like a three-hour reading. <laughs> All right, okay, so I got to do it because it tells a story. So the sun card came up. Now, this talks about radiance and, and success. You see that? You got the sun in reverse and the sun in the upright position. I'm glad I was obedient and didn't put the cards back. So, that you being in that sun reverse is going to reverse itself into the upright position. And you'll get that abundance. Because you make the fairest decision, you are going to see success, abundance, love, you're going to radiate with positivity, right? It's going to be so bright that it's going to draw people into you just by making the decision to do what's fair and what's just. And you're the magician, literally. Like, you have the power to do it because you can be this, this master manifester just by balancing your spiritual, your physical, your mental, and your emotional resources and combining them together, you can do this. You can manifest this connection to be a victorious connection because you have the power to literally do it. I have the eight of coins, pinnacles, in reverse. Don't focus too much on the details. And that's the problem. You lose sight of the bigger picture when you focus too much on the details. The end result is the victory. That's what you need to focus on. You're going, you know, this five of coins energy is out as well. It's like you are carefully trying to plan this. And um, you're doing too much. I mean, planning is good. Yes, definitely. Planning is good. But your soulmate is coming out in this reading as well. And um, you have that ability, literally. You care for your family, right? You take care of your responsibilities. And you, you make a living for yourself. You have your financial abundance. You have everything that it takes to create a healthy balance within your connection. Vice versa. So you know, you know, you have all of the components literally to pull this, um, to manifest this. You have all of the components. You have your soulmate. You have your life coming together full circle as far as on, um, you know, with your abundance, with your success. And on top of you already are family oriented. You're coming in as kings in, in my decks. My king of wands. Did I do my king of wands? No. My king of pentacles. Now, you got many choices available to you, right? We know what that talks about. There's options. You got options, Gemini. Now, but it's time for you to think outside of that. Become more aware of the opportunities that you literally have in front of you. Start thinking big with this connection. You got the opportunities to broaden your horizons. 
and go beyond what you are used to. Um, the use you're used to thinking, you're used to being, you're used to the way you're used to acting. You know, it's a lot when it comes down to these soulmate relationships because um, depending on the type of soulmate relationship it is. But like I said, within the soulmate relationships, it requires you to go through a learning process. It's about learning and growing and um, experiencing. Yeah, it's all of those things that are very intense, but it's for the better. You know, because it elevates you into this amazing per person individually. Don't be depressed, right? Because you're probably depressed. You're probably anxious. You're feeling weighed down by thought thoughts. But don't be in that energy, that nine of swords energy. Like, yeah. Take a look at this relationship, this situation. And see if you're mismanaging it. Are you putting something before it? What are you putting before this connection that's keeping you from moving forward? Because you got the victory. You know that now through this reading. I got the page of cups sitting here, right? You got some new ideas. And there's some communication that's going to come in. So... It's either going to be you communicating or your person is going to communicate something to you. Yep. Be open to all possibilities, Gemini. Because they coming. They coming or you coming. You ready to talk about this. They ready to talk about this. Take it out for your resonance. You guys confused the hell out of me. <laughs> That's what y'all in right now. Y'all in this energy right now. It's coming through this reading. <laughs> don't be trying. Don't be trying to trip me up with the mind games. I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna find out. Now, yeah, some of you may be withdrawing. You trying to? You're going into this energy of like, I want to be alone. <laughs> I want to be alone. And I know why. It's because you got to make some choices. Can you tell me about the sun in reverse? Yeah, that's what's keeping you. This card came out. The four of wands in reverse. That's what's keeping um, this connection from merging. Because the four of wands, it talks about, you know, celebrations, love. <clears throat> huh. I think I want to go back to this romance thing. I'm like, who, what am I being drawn to? But um, otherwise, you guys, it's like, it's causing a lot of conflict. Especially in, in regards to your love life. You gotta free yourself. And freeing yourself really just talks about taking um, taking back control of your life. Literally, releasing yourself from whatever this past energy could be, past situations, um, past trauma, past hurt, past people. You gotta release yourself from it. It's time because it's affecting you from being able to move forward to receive your victory. And it may seem terrifying, yeah, but there's rewards. There's definitely rewards. For some of you, it could be a new love that's stirring up your um, interest.
and this could be you uh, giving this new person drama because <laughs> you holding on to something from the past that you need to free yourself from. It's safe for you, Gemini. It's safe for you to explore. Don't forget, you deserve love, man. You definitely deserve love. You are lovable, Gemini. So why y'all staying? Don't, don't chase love away. The past no longer serves you. It, it doesn't even, it's not doing anything for you in your now, right? You got to stay optimistic about your love life. This was another card that was already out. You have to stay optimistic because positive thinking and faith, that's what brings you the rewards that you, you want to see when it comes to romance. I want y'all, I want, you know what? I want to know about your soulmate. Tell me about Gemini's soulmate. much putting on a blindfold right now to avoid making a decision because you think that it might be some type of negative consequence so you're kind of trying to play the avoidance role when it comes to yourself your um soulmate yeah but you got to be flexible spirit is saying surrender to the circumstances <laughs> You got to be flexible, right? And adapt to this change because it's coming. You got to pause for a minute, get a new perspective, and release those old mentalities that are no longer serving you, okay? Take and review everything that you've been through. Those, What have you learned from that? So that you're able to move forward and take the next step. That was the hangman. If you needed to have clarification on it. And then I got the nine of cups in reverse. And you're being um, complacent. Very complacent when it comes to your soulmate. Because you more are focused on your material gain. So right now you're focused on your material gain. Um, mm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, you got to be able to put effort into both connections, both material, both love. Yeah, because it's putting you in the levels in reverse right now. You're in hermit mode, definitely right now. You you want to be alone. You've been taking a break from everything <laughs> right now and trying to find your answers. But it's putting you in the lover's reverse. So you're reluctant to open it up your heart to the soulmate. Why are they reluctant again? Let's talk about it. Ooh. Because you guys had a tower moment. So something happened. It was a sudden change. Some chaos took place. All right? So it, it, it led to an ending. Because the tower card came out. So whatever this ending was, it's causing you to be 
reluctant about the soulmate connection. I don't know if you feel bad. You know how when things be so bad, it be like, can I turn back at this point? <laughs> Will they accept me back at this point? But if you are actively working and healing yourself and you're in hermit mode, you know, as the cards are saying, when you're in hermit mode, that means what? You're healing. You're, so, you're soul searching. <clears throat> but this is like the hand of God right there. Oh, <laughs> see that? Good gracious. It's like a hand coming out the clouds, handing you. It looks like gold coins. <laughs> it's like through this tower moment, the divine literally was like, yo, here, take this. <laughs> Handing you a gift of steady love, abundance, a love that is loyal, lasting, and practical. So, yeah, Gemini, this might be involving an earth sign. Because this person gives um, a steady and generous and reliable quality to relationships. They make, they give off the feeling of stability and security. So if your person isn't an earth sign, they might have their moon or rising in the a earth sign position. You're definitely going to feel like with this connection, like this one is divinely ordered. That hand coming out the clouds is divine. That's the universe. This connection, this soulmate connection was gifted to you. You locked up, partner. Who's this Empress in reverse? Who is this Empress Envy? Earth, honey. Oh, they got you in this devil energy, honey. <laughs> this Empress in reverse is the devil. Who is this person that got, they either are in a devil energy or they got you in a devil energy or. <laughs> This ain't just on me. Because, <laughs> uh... Oh, okay. You got some plans, though, because the King of Wands came out. You got some plans, grand plans, might I say, to take some charge, to move forward. So you definitely going to move forward from that inference and reverse because uh, you already realized that um, if you don't, things to take a turn for the worse. That Wheel of Fortune came out in reverse. You know, if you don't, you're gonna get some unexpected changes or negative forces that could be at play to, to, to stop you in your tracks for not making a move. That's gonna bring, what, bring another tower moment. I'm telling you, I, I mean, I wasn't, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to deliver this kind of reading. I was trying to like hold back on doing this because this is deep. I don't, this is a very specific reading. And yes, I said it right. I got my fingers to my mouth. It, that's probably obstructing my, ver my words right now. But this, oh my gosh, this is for someone directly. I'm not, take it how it resonates. You guys, if you can move move the, the uh, rolls around, switch them around, however it goes that you need to do it. This is somebody's person or this is you, Gemini, that's in this energy. But you gotta stay optimistic about your love life because you got victory here. And, and But you're gonna do the right thing because like I told you, tarot literally goes from uh, past, present to future. So 
it just depends on you, you know. Tell us about Gemini, like, please. It's about balance. <clears throat> There's always going to be some type of challenge, but you got to balance. Let's see. <laughs> I try to ignore it. It's happening because Cupid's arrow has struck, my dear. Cupid's arrow has struck you, Gemini. Hold up. Did you fall in love? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it tickles me because I just like the idea of it. I like the idea of love. And that's a great feeling. So I laugh because it tickles me that you got bit by the love bug. <laughs> that's why you're gonna go ahead and move forward. You know, you know it's victory in this situation. Yeah. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. It's fair to say, and it's going to be some healing. Y'all got some bad juju between each other because it was a lot of stuff that taking place in this connection, but it's healing that's going to take place, and you guys are going to do the healing together, you know? But only time will tell because this is all about divine timing as well. So it's like these karmic cycles or whatever that's going on have to come to a close, right? You got to get through the lessons and really learn, so you won't repeat the cycle so that you can be able to move forward and have healthy relationships, healthy love, healthy situations. You want healthy people around you. You want to be healthy within yourself. Okay? But I want to see if I can get one more. This year. And then I want to jump into one other card and then end it. Let there be closeness between you. But always give each other some space because love never claims. It simply allows and give. Bring this person close to you. It's good to have your space, yeah. At the same time, still work on a connection. Give the relationship a chance. Put some energy into it and bring this person close to you. Nurture the friendship within the relationship. It can, you can have both. And you'll see your love life improve dramatically. You'll see changes because you are nurturing it. You are bringing this person close together instead of being guarded or setting these boundaries. And this is like a twin flame card that just came out. Literally, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. This is a twin flame card. And I, I, that's what I said. This is some type of higher level soulmate connection that's going on here. That's why you see that you're going through all of this conviction, Gemini. All of this stuff that's going back and forth. And you feel like you're struggling. You're fighting. You want One person wants to run. One person wants to uh, chase. And then it flips roles. And it just, you know. But it's all about balancing these energies and, and closing out these karmic cycles. Because this is the time now where twins are coming together. And they're coming together to fulfill their divine life purpose. So you see that card I said with the Ace of um, Pentacles, I think that was, where the divine's hand was coming out. This is a divinely ordered connection. No, it was the Ace of Cups. It's handed to you by the universe. It's a gift. So that means that the divine is involved. You got spiritual helpers that are involved. They're in the background making sure that this miracle is manifested. Your dreams will soon become reality. You got to trust your heart and then continue to follow your guidance. Everything will take place in this twin flame relationship um, as expected, but you have to trust and hold on. So Gemini, you will get the new beginning because it, it, it awaits you. So embrace it. Surrender. Because at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. You got to let go of that. And everything else will work out. Okay, so either if this is you, Gemini, that's playing this role, or is that if this is your person, either way, how it goes, this is a higher level soulmate connection, Gemini. This is a connection, right, that is divinely ordered. So as you continue to work on yourself and you do your healing and you go within and you're in this hermit mode, right? Because eventually you're going to have to climb out the hermit mode. But as you continue to do the self work, you will see the progression in your life, all over, all around. 
you'll see changes. You'll get your new beginning. You will have your victory. This is some surrogate going on here, Gemini. That's why I said I knew Spirit got a message for you because some somebody was stalling with something <clears throat> and, and refusing to take the blindfold off. Expect the powerful change, Gemini. It's coming. Expect the powerful change. Man, let me tell you, I'm I'm I stutter 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 stepped a little bit, yeah, I mean, through this because I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of like, hmm, I ain't even gonna talk about it, you guys. But I got it out and I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I was able to be the messenger for you guys. But expect powerful change. So we got the new moon and eclipse. And this is basically saying, where we at? I can't find it in the book, y'all. Give me a second. New moon and eclipse. Oh, the I had in in the middle. It should be new moon eclipse. <laughs> I'm like, why? But all right. So what I have for you, this card basically is talking about if you want confirmation that you can get what you desire, that your dreams will be fulfilled, this is it right here. This is a card of beginnings. And they are powerful energies at work. Then I just speak that? I don't even gotta read this card. I just said that. You got the divine and you got angelic forces, spiritual helpers behind the scenes working on your behalf. But be prepared, right? Because I said that. Twin Flame Journeys is quite a, it's quite a ride. And events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new direction you take will all, almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason. You'll appreciate it later on. Why? Because you're going to get the freaking victory. A new portal is opening up. And all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You're being put back on the right path. There is nothing to fear, honey. Never mind the past. Life evolves every single day. This is a yes, yes, a thousand times yes. With an explanation mark, Gemini. You have been shunted towards your life purpose. That's what the twin flame journey does. It pushes you towards your divine life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. This is an important turning point in your life. That, that was breathtaking. Whew. I don't have nothing else to say, Gemini. Y'all have definitely put me to work. <laughs> But I am extremely happy that my spirit guides have showed up and showed out. And I pray that you guys are open to receive the message. If you would like to have a personal message done, personal reading, feel free to reach out to me. And y'all have a wonderful rest of the week. Peace.